na lang sa But how do we know that we've gone live now? There on your upper left, there's like a thing that says live. A tick. There, 16, 17 seconds. You're live. But We're you, live. But, but you cannot see who are viewing you. It just says the number of viewers, not who is viewing. Um, yes, it'll say the number of viewers. Well, does it say on your end? Because on my end, I can't see anything. Ah, okay. My end, there's an I, and that's just there's number one. But mm, what I specifically yeah. can say like Yeah, I don't know if you can go to like FB Live and, and see, but I find yeah, it's too distracting. We can, we can see it, but there's like a the feedback, gani? so there's a repetitive thing, whatever. Sige. Live na ta, na may I'm gonna say live comments here if people, yeah, comment. we can do. What I noticed is the StreamYard can do live broadcast so groups page of the profile. Pero they're very particular with the profile's comments. You can't you can't share their comments unless if it's not a Facebook page because of privacy problems. Mm. Are we on? I know this. Yeah, we're on. I can't make a comment, no? You can't, can't comment? No. I guess, uh, yeah, I cannot. I guess no, I cannot. you can. I think you can a Facebook Page. Yeah, I can if I go to Facebook, but like oh, from streaming. Yeah, Mugawas, yeah, Mugawas. Welcome, guys. Good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday. Wow, weather, Diane, guys. It's a beautiful Saturday. My name is Alpeka Perpetua. This is Test Broadcast Live. It's pretty much different with my previous previous live broadcast. This is Podcast Historias, and my guest is Carlo Villarica of Zero. Three, two, yay! You know, I should have like a, like a background music. Hi, Carl. Hello. That's it. How are you? How, uh, we're going to pretend we didn't talk before. <laughs> what? Hi. So um, the reason why I invited Carlo with Erika, because he's the, um, he's the expert when it comes to live streaming um, for his podcast, Zero th- conversations with zero three two. Now, um, I think live streaming is the only way we could continue with our show, right? Like it's the most one of the things if that I'm, we can do. If I'm like I, when I remembered, I mentioned this already. I remembered like interviewing you, and this was very early coronavirus days, and I wasn't taking it seriously, and you know. You didn't want to give me a high five. It was an air fist bump. So I think for you, this is the perfect uh, way to do it. <laughs> because I'm a germaphobe. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm going to... No, no, you just call me a girl? girl? <laughs> yes. But you're not a girl, but it's just like... <laughs> Listen, Carlo, imagine the good... You would be inviting people to guest for your freaking podcast. Yeah. 14 days later they have the they have the freaking coronavirus isn't that going to hurt your brand <laughs> like yeah, i'm just saying like, like, Carlo really Villarica really doesn't awesome. care about my life or Carlo Villarica blah 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 do you know what i mean so to get what i'm trying to say you know i'm a it's little bit really disappointed i'm a little bit disappointed that you're not a germaphobe until now after all those months of subtle, I, have like, subtle, I have alcohol see See? Yeah, sure ka, 60% na. On sa man ang alcohol. I don't know. It just says no sting sanitizer. I don't know. It's alcohol. <laughs> no. There is a specific, specific there's a specific percentage of alcohol to kill the coronavirus. No error. Muba? I don't know. Yes. It, it's not killed by 50% alcohol or 40%. It needs to be 70% is the safest and above. It's the safest, but I think regular alcohol will, will do. No, and not so, really. Or like... There is 40% alcohol, man, you know, for the kids. Wait, do you do groceries? No, I'm wondering if you do groceries for your family. Yeah, it's... Six, well, lately, no. We've just been ordering. I'll go I, to like the convenience store or the uh, fruit stand. But the groceries, I find, is like the scariest thing to do right now. 
Mm-hmm. I remember the first time going there, and yeah, as soon as I touched the cart, I was like, oh shit, I got the coronavirus now. <laughs> <laughs> of course you got it. For sure, of course you got it because it's on your skin. But, you know, ang ilang iatake, dili man skin. Ang iatake, imuhang mga respiratory. Oh yeah, but anyway, yeah. Mona, I feel like going to the groceries is actually like super... I, I get scared going there. So I'll go to a convenience store to buy stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't funny. But it was funny, right? On the early months. Anyway, so guys, three now. This is just a test broadcast. And Carlo is supposed to teach me how to act when the live streaming is happening. Right? Like what? What is the right etiquette? Because for me, I could just like say anything. I'll, I'll. Usually, with my guests, I roast them, I burn them to a point that they're gonna hate me within the show, and it's gonna make the show really spicy. But with Carlo Villarica, he's just too good looking for me to roast, so I can't. Wow, I can't. Yeah, my roast roast girl. I should talk her. Your, your your fans would hate me at some point, which I bet you already have. Like, uh, do you get what I'm trying? Do you know uh, like them, like the the style sa uh, sa YouTube when they do a collaboration video guesting? No, I don't know. What do they do? Uh, two influencers guest on each other's channels. Okay. So let's say Bretman Rock and James Charles. So Bretman Rock will guest, will create a video with James Charles and it'll be uploaded on James Charles um, channel. And same with James Charles with Bretman Rock. They create what, a are video they, and what are they doing? They're cross marketing. If I have. Ah, what's, if, what's in the video? Like, wala lang. like they're just. It really depends life. on if it was, if it's a, if it's a makeup um, channel, then they do makeup and they do gossip. Uh, and if it's uh if it's a if it's a dare, you know, a dare daring a video, then they do dares. It really depends on the brand they have. But that's the thing, they're trying to get additional fans. So let's say Ako, I only have five followers and you have a million followers. So if I'm gonna guest on your channel, then there's a big possibility my five fans would become like six. Uh, maybe. <laughs> But the whole point there is the minimum of five will not be five. For sure, it will be six, seven, eight. So that's how you grow your audience, more or less. So, mm. yeah, I mean, um, that's my plan by Aunta with with middle of this year. But it, you know, coronavirus happened, so it didn't happen. Well, you can still do it. Just doing the thing is you're forcing you to change the format. Like there's no yeah. way that, you know. That's the thing. This is not my format. I'm a <laughs> I'm a spontaneous person, but I need to really process the whole thing. This one is live. That means if I'm gonna put my finger inside my nose right now, now that's happening. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to like? You can't delete that shit because it's live. And not unless actually, if I'm gonna remove myself. Actually, what you can do if you don't like the live aspect, you can just like have the conversation not live and then download it and then edit it up however you want it and then put it out as an it's episode it's so much work because i'm actually yeah. have like work but that's so much work and i'm not natural with it yeah i think we have discussed this on when i guessed it on your podcast that you told me my audio my way my brand the, the format that i chose which is audio you said it's too much work but that's natural for me this live broadcasting is not natural you mean it's like with video what? You mean like the video is too much work? The video is too much work with my emotional aspect. Do you get me? Look at me. Like, anyway, we're not going to go there. But yes, Carl. So you're telling me that I can pre record it and then edit it after and yeah, just don't, upload it as is. Don't use the video. Make your own. Do your audio. It's a name. Do your audio thing. The thing is, lang, you'll I'll notice like other like everybody's like home setup for doing this. Yeah. It's different. And like other people use a phone, other people kay ilang 
ilang laptop or ano. So the audio quality is more uh, varies good. Yeah, yeah get and, and I'm very particular yeah. with that. The audio. I mean, you can have you can have a pixelated video, but the audio is just really something. Speaking of audio, the audio is just something really sacred for me. Me, for me as a as a producer, now. Yeah, the, but you're you, know, what, you know, don't let like good enough be the enemy of perfect. And what? Don't let perfection be the enemy of good enough. I think that's what it is. No, so like if that's if be the what? To, <laughs> be what? Be, no, but, like no, no, no. Repeat it. Repeat it. What's that again? Be the what? Don't let perfection be the enemy of good enough. I think that's the saying, if I'm not mistaken. Seven viewers, are you taking note of that? Be the what what he said. What he said. Like if you want to do something and then there are some limitations, but you want to just do make it. Do. Yeah, just make do. It's not that I don't want to do live broadcasting for sure, but um as much as possible, I don't like it more like a home setting. You get me? I mean I have even with them. I am not I am not new to shared screens. I'm not new to virtual meetings because I've done that in the past with my clients. My most of my clients are overseas. It's 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 it's, it's normal. But the thing is for business. Mm -hmm. Again, I mean, that means we have a meeting, we discuss reports. But when it comes to casual side, extreme side guy, okay, casual. I'm, I'm currently in a long distance relationship, so we have to do video calls every day um, with my with my friends and all that stuff. So extremes, both extremes, yeah. So with podcast streaming, and more balance, casual and business at the same time. And I'm still trying to figure balance, Do I need to laugh and just do this? <laughs> First question, who are you in a long distance relationship with? We are not going to talk about my love life. I'm just saying <laughs> that I am experienced when it comes to video. Don't, Carl, don't. This is. Okay, so, second question. Carl, you're supposed to teach me etiquette. This is not etiquette. The the other thing that I wanted to point out was before this whole, before this whole pandemic and the lockdowns, I've actually uh -huh. never done it like even for for meetings or business like i've never because you're, never... you're, you're local man you're you're used to yeah. meeting people in coffee shops yeah, but, but uh mona like, like i had less experience than you did like i literally like my computer like this thing like there's a camera oh. here right and then i used to have uh I used to have like a masking tape over the seriously camera. you watch oh, one of those fbi yeah, no, but for years, like I had that there, and and in fact, when I took it out, like I had to put alcohol because the 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 glue from the tape was on the on the lens. Why do you put like you're afraid that someone's gonna be spying you? Whatever. You yeah, think. that's what happens. Like if you get like, uh, yeah, I mean, I know, know that happens, but or uh some something on your computer i don't know it's just anyway the point is never done it before never did video of any sort before yeah. and then you know the the lockdowns and the pandemic really forced me to change like if i wanted to continue doing it i had no choice like no choice so i just tried it so when i first tried it in fact i only did it with my friends because you know if if uh if something wrong happened, at least you know these are my friends. They're not going to be pissed off or anything. They'll be like, "All right, Carlos, is screw up. Who cares?" <laughs> so I did it a couple of times with my yeah, friends, and then about, are you talking about rescue a hero? Yeah, rescue a hero. Um, I have like a, another group that we also I also published it like a it's a mastermind. We don't yeah, need yeah, to get into yeah. it, but kana. Uh, so I just tried it with my friends first, and then. I remember my first real broadcast was uh, for Cloud MD. What's on Cloud MD? Like, it's a it, it's a platform for doctors and patients. It just it helps doctors basically. Ah, they have like online consultation. Yeah, yeah. 
So that was with them. That was the first one. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, and then, and then. I, I get challenges on the way, like an audio problem. So, so I have technical, to. The technical part is the audio problems. What else? Yeah. Audio Quality. problems and yeah, like so. I'll I'll show you what I. So now I have a thing where I'm trying to I'll look for it. So now I have a thing where every time I get a guest i'm just gonna share it in the chat every time i get a guest i send them a message just as there just a few notes for the live stream conversation yeah please make sure your webcam works please make sure you're in a quiet environment <laughs> what happened to you man you're gone what you left me you, you went out i'm sure <laughs> I'm so weird. Like, oh my god, am I streaming on my own? You, you were out. Here. You froze. Oh, okay, that's, I think that's the that is the other frustration with this medium. Why it depends on the browser that you're using or the how fast no, your the, computer is. No, the internet it just conks out every now and then. You mean your internet? So it's not Streamyard's problem. Is that what you're saying? No, it's not StreamYard. Like it's the internet. Like some sometimes you call somebody whose internet is mm -hmm. not as good. Sometimes my uh, internet is not as good. So, um, I had a I had a test broadcast number three. Na maning a test broadcast. Katong ikaduha and first na test video. Our internet was fast. Both our internets are fast, but I think it's taking so much energy or battery energy i don't know it lags like it won't let me share screen ever that was my problem really? because i was thinking of making it like a real broadcast news hey what's up this is a video so what changed dayon ang ani dayon ang ang output or ang duha ka screen na dire niya na dire ang video kana ba like i want to share videos and talk about it let's say um I'll interview Mandawi Nights, right? And then we talk about what's happening to COVID. And then we share the music video. So, Mugawa sa music video doing a screen. While kami tulo nagtanaw. Unya, the StreamYard won't let me do that. Unfortunately. Uh, have you tried that with other apps like Zoom or something? Because even with Zoom, I notice like we'll have like Zoom things with like family. And then they'll try to share a video. And then, hinay, mm -hmm. kayo. Like it's um, not... I tried that with Google Meet and Zoom sauna, but it was kind of okay. Even though pixelated, the video is still shared. But I'm guessing maybe there are a lot of people using the platform now, you know. Maybe. So more like I wouldn't I wouldn't even attempt to do something like that. It's just too tedious. So, so you what you usually do is like just the boxes lang and just your conversation for zero three two. Yeah, and then occasionally we'll talk about something that's on the internet, and then so I'll just load up a picture or an article. How do you whatever. load up a picture? Na katong share screen, the share screen oh. thing. Ah, yeah, like niya mugawa siya sa kitid whatever Marshall banner sakto. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, and it's cool. So, like, sometimes if you have live comments, you can actually here in Streamyard, you can click on yeah. if somebody comments, you can feature a comment, you can click on it. So that's pretty cool. If uh, you have a lot of uh, engagement, um, let me try that. Instagram silver needs it. Yeah, oh, yeah. But I don't know. Like uh, this whole, I I feel like for me, like the biggest. Oh, uh, there, yeah, there. No, that's a comment. That's a live comment. Yeah. So, so like guys, for me, the biggest frustration is the internet sometimes. Like, you know, it, it conks out. And then, yeah, I don't know what else. I, what, I know you asked uh, me here. What's the yeah. most frustrating episode that you have using this platform ever since um, the COVID-19? I don't... A specific episode doesn't come doesn't come to mind, but like kana mga kana when there are internet issues or like kana some of the first some of the first um, interviews came around, 
you know, the the guests just didn't stay in a quiet place. So you can hear like cars in the background. Kanana ba? And then it became clear really quickly, okay, so Mona, that's why I have to give out this like guidelines in the beginning, uh, you know, make sure that you're not in a noisy environment, that sort of thing. Because uh, they're not, they're not, they're not trained to do that man. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's why. So you so eventually after I started doing that, then people started doing the, they started doing the interviews like in their bedroom, <laughs> you know. Which is the podcast brand. You know, they just have, you can do it on your bedroom. But part with podcast historias, it's not the brand that I would love to. Like, I don't, it's not that I don't want to share parts of my little apartment or my bedroom. It's just that too intimate. I mean, it's just intimate nagani, and I'm sharing parts of my life via audio, getting, you know, recorded and uploaded online. And then I share where I where I eat, where I sleep, and maybe where I shit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like for, for what you do, you know, like Silang Conan, like, okay, you like listening to the Conan, right? They've been doing their podcast. Yeah, I know, but I'm not liking it. I mean, I'm like, Conan, it's did you even yet. freaking bathe? What's wrong with your hair? I mean, your hair is like, it's just, it's that's the vulnerability, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Like, I don't mind doing that, but I'm just not sure if I'm ready for that. Me yeah, as a different presenter. Yet. It's really different. Like you see all of these like late night talk shows, and yeah, they're they were struggling during their own lockdowns. Like they couldn't go to work. Like uh, what's his name? What's his name? The, the another late late night talk host, the Italian guy. Uh, not it. Kanang Italian. The one I see, Cousin Sal. See Jimmy, 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 Jimmy something. Anyway, like he was Jimmy in his Kimmel? house. Jimmy Kimmel. Like he's in his house doing it. Can I ba? I've seen like, the, um, uh, the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, he's struggling. Like you can really tell that presenter. That's how I feel. Like I'm just the presenter. I'd like the whole technicalities to be done by a professional, like a sound engineer bar or an assistant, because I really want to focus on. So, yeah, I feel that way. Actually, I really feel that way. Most Actually, especially. I, 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 I don't think I don't think they're struggling because of that, huh? I think they're struggling because there's no audience. Because they have a live audience and then they get the feed off the ah. live audience. Yes, that's true. Me, I'm okay, just ba? struggling because of the environment. Like I'm bedroom is for making love, not making podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, See, I when no, I start I no like making jokes. <laughs> Make jokes. <laughs> Awkward guy. Anyway, so yeah. When I see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting awkward now. So if you get awkward, like why I'm feeling right now, what do you usually do? Well, uh, to shake that off. So my, my, my podcast is a bit different from yours, my good. Like me, okay. I just ask questions and I'll, it, kanang, uh, so like usually I'll interview somebody and there is there is a reason why I want to interview them. I want to hear their thoughts about something specific. Some more on opinions, and, right? Yeah, I'm not I'm not necessarily trying to make it entertaining. I'm not necessarily I'm just trying to learn. Uh in in many cases, I'll be honest, I really don't I, I, I try to learn and I try to make the conversation going and interesting, but Aside, uh, apart from that, I have very little. I care very little about the person listening. You know, if there's no one listening or if there's a hundred people listening, I try to keep it the same. No? One audience, lang. That's it. Yeah, like or me. No I just try to. Lang. Yeah, I just try to be interested and and make it interesting for me. No. And during the live broadcast. During the live broadcast. Platform. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I. I'm having difficult with that, to be honest. I can, I see the audience as one, as one entity when I'm hosting a show like real life, like on stage, I see the audience. Um, when I'm, when I'm doing my podcast, that's how I see. 
but with live, you know, like there's a video in your face showing this, this very, but um, what do you call that? Kind of the flaws, but that you have the, the, the ruffled hair. And, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's really different when it's visual for. Yeah, I, that's why I wear a hat. <laughs> it's just easier. <laughs> no? Uh, so uh, I, the receding hairline? Oh, I'm like so good, no, Carl. <clears throat> it's okay. I do have uh, probably a receding hairline. We make fun of it with my friends. Actually, those are my favorite podcasts. The ones where I just talk to my friends. Because mm-hmm. we're just like, kinda, we're just joking around and and uh, telling jokes. And uh, I have this, we have this. We have this. Uh, I don't. I don't know why I'm gonna. Say, this is an example. So there's like a podcast with a rescue hero, and then we were talking about something, and it was like kind of funny, but we needed to move on. And then Makoy goes, "So, so how's your circumcision?" And then we ended up talking for like ten minutes about ten or five minutes about circumcision, yeah. and it was really fun and fun. So like my favorite podcasts are the ones with my friends. Of course. And, and I realized that. I re- oh. Come here, bud. What? Yeah, we have mass. Yeah, mommy yes, did it tell finally me. happened. Hi. Say hi. Ugh, say hi. Is that your friend? That's my friend. Okay, show them your hi. dinosaur. Wow, is that a T Rex? What's your name? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, Matt, you go ahead. Go ahead. No. You're going to stay here? Yes. Can eat lion. He's no, no. You have to go and go to mass now. No. Uh, uh, yeah, there's we're but doing an online mass. Okay, get Ryan. Open the door. What? <laughs> open the door. You open the door. You can open it yourself. Oh my God, he's holding two toys. Wait. Why, hello there, seven viewers. It finally happened. The one that I really like to happen finally happened. So Carlo there is a dad. He's a dad of two. Okay, putting headphones. <laughs> and he's wearing casual shorts. What of course. shorts are you wearing? Basketball shorts. <laughs> anyway, have you seen that? Um, those newscasters, but not just the presenters are that are struggling, actually. Even the newscasters are struggling. Have you seen that um, compilation of bloopers sa ilang own home? They're doing a no. weather report, and then all of a sudden the dad arrived and took off the shirt. <laughs> yeah, like that's a reality now, you know? Like when you're at home, that's just the reality. And then there's this one. Yes. Oh, what one? Go, go. There's this, there's this one kind of guy. You know, he's, he's a good-looking guy, so... If you know if you're good looking on video, people are gonna really pay attention to the littlest details. So he was report he was he was reporting, he was doing his job, and he, he was wearing this long sleeve. Can I go shirt? Yeah, gonna form a but what is the shorts? Well not shaga pants, ga boxers or shot. But on uh salig siya nga na ay kana was it all gonna kana sa ubus. Reforts? Yeah. For like salig siya nga banner sa ubus. Then at some point he became the talk of Twitter, like Why? right away. He became viral. People are talking about him, and because he's, you know, like he's a reporter, local. It's a statement, seguro, on news. So can you imagine that? So he had to apologize and make a joke out of it. But yeah, that, that must be really embarrassing to be seen in your boxers. But ako said, I don't go boxers. I'm like, God, your audience is the whole state. You know, it's not but just you, your friends. You know, Vic, for like. I- Kanang, so the like so stories like that ba? They're actually yeah. the exception to the rule because the rule is for me, ha, huh, like nobody cares. Nobody, nobody, nobody gives a shit. Like no one, no one you, you get what I'm saying? Like Wait, that is what are what are you saying? Is that your truth or that is what you put in your head so that you'll do your job better? That's that's well, it's it's half and half. That's the truth in a sense, especially in the beginning. No one cares. No one. You're lucky if like one person watches anything. No, like to get one person, that's a gift. No, and but 
and then in the so in the beginning no one cares but also that's like a good thing to have in your head nga, if no one cares then i'm just going to do this thing and yeah bahala na all of the insecurities that come with it no so, you mean your your whole reservations ay tawagan but that's the thing Carl, like my background, mang good. I work professionally as a marketer too. You get me? So in my head, it has always been technicalities in my head. What would the audience say? How would the audience feel? What type of audiences that are listening? You know, like um, it, it, that's a constant struggle in my head, and that's why I like in for podcast stories. It has always been natural for me. Hindi ko magthink anong aspect when i do pre-recording on a very safe environment which is like a room 11 uh paulo de la victoria studios because i feel safe in that environment pre-recorded um for this i'm actually really anxious right now to be honest seeing that there are six or seven people viewing it and um someone stupid is commenting <laughs> but yeah like that just vulnerability like that's just something that I haven't really practiced. Stop. Why no, are bro, you laughing? Bro, no, I'm looking at the comment. <laughs> no, but like, kanang, I, so you're able to compartmentalize it better. Like having a separate recording studio, it not yes. being live. And because it's the only way that I really calm my demons in my head, which is the marketer self. I also have the producer self in my head. And the presenter self. So these are three different pro- uh, profession in my head. Unya magawa ni sila pero may imagine that like a marketer magthink sa audience, a producer magthink on how the whole show is, you know, going, and then a um, presenter self. Right? You're stuck with. See, this is the problem. I don't know. I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I really love it. Uh, Hi, yeah. you're a daddy, Carl. You know what? Whatever you're gonna say, you're a daddy today. It's a Saturday. Yeah. Um, for like, I think the way around it is is to just kind of like put in your head like it just doesn't matter. Like it doesn't. No one cares, so just do it. Like kind of. I know, understand. Like it's easier for you to compartmentalize it if you're in like a safe environment, like a studio, and then you get to control the final product. No. Uh, yeah, I I haven't said the same uh, fears in the beginning. That's like why I started a podcast. Like the podcast is so easy. You sit down with another person. Yeah, bahala na. Like if they say something or if you say something that that that's kind of embarrassing, then just then just you know. You just delete it in a final in a final edit, right? But but with this whole lockdown and pandemic, I realized I just want to do the podcast more than than worrying about what I want to say. So it's just like a switch that I had to turn on by and say, "Or abala na, abala na ni. Like whatever comes out, comes out. Oh my god! Like now ba? Like now ba? What? Yeah, hey, Matt, I'm gonna lock the door when you leave. Okay? Okay, why don't you go outside? <laughs> I don't have batteries. Go outside, little pet. So, just let them huh? be. They're kids. Just let them be. If they want to guess, let them be. It's okay. He wants batteries. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, I don't have batteries, Matt. Can you not? Can you not touch this? Because it might come out in the audio. <laughs> you, you wanna? You wanna? You wanna say hi again? What's his name? Hi. Can you hear me? Can't hear you. I'm in the headphones. What is this? That's my watch. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Tita Feck. Say hi, Tita. She can hear you. I can take off your headphones so I can hear. You wanna listen to you wanna listen? Oh, here, yeah. let's let's listen. So, Fek, say hi. Hi. Mm. Hi. Say hi. hi. What's your name? Okay, I apologize for uh, ruining your show. No, it's not. <laughs> I love 
I love bullying kids, no, I, but I'm not going to bully him because he's too good looking. I only bully the not too good looking. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I love, I love kids. I love how curious they are. Yeah, he's going to borrow Ooh. my camera now. And if, if, if you know what, if you, camera, do you need a break? Because I can go ahead and chat. Okay, so guys, while Carlo Villarica oh, yeah. is being a dad, so while Carlo Villarica is being a dad, let me show you my face. Uh, yes. Hi. He needs to take a break a little bit. Um, what I'm doing right now is a test broadcast and I'm at, and I have asked my good friend, Carlo Villarica, um, to do a little of, um, to teach me how it is to do a live broadcast. And, um, it's been 35 minutes and we just, you know, did a little talk. Um, initially it was deleting your comment. Brent, because this is not my personal, I'm talking about the people commenting down. Anyway, where was I? Carlo, see? Carlo, you do that. I miss you now. Girl! Okay. Let me tell you about Carlo Villarica. Um, wait, 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 where's the banners? So I'm still trying to figure out, like, this is <laughs> I'm trying to figure out to do and it's not working anymore you could like um you can check out carlo villarica on instagram this is his handle handle sober business there you go that's his handle they can check his beautiful out whatever he is gone what wow, guys oh he's back Yes. Hi. Why, hello there. I am. I was I lost like, without you. I feel like, uh, like when you're a dad, and everybody just feels like they can have your time anytime they want. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. <sighs> it's kind of exhausting. So, but it we? makes you happy, right? Oh yeah, it's exhausting. But yeah, depends. Oh my God, just know when you come back. Nagin nagbona ko ano ko ano ko dere. Yeah. Anyway, so how was it? What happened? Tell me what happened. Huh? Oh no, he just he just came in. He wanted batteries. And then he gave them batteries. <laughs> no, I don't have batteries. <laughs> he has like a toy. Yes. Wow. How'd you do that? So banners. What a new still cute guy. There's the banner section there, and you just the have to create it. First time using Yeah, this is the first time. A third oh. time, actually. Third time? Yes. So, did you pay for it or not? No, this is free. I still have like 20 huh? hours. Huh? What are your so deals? The, you can have the banner? Yeah, you can even pay. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Oh. Cool. So, kind of, so fact, do, do you know how to, let's say you wanted to use this in the future or, okay, thanks, fact. Um, let's say you want to use this in the, let's say you want to use the audio in the future and release it as a podcast. Do you know how to do it? What do you mean by release as a podcast? Like, do you know how to record the audio of what we are talking about right now? Or even no, the video. Actually, no. You need to teach me how it is. But I think we can do it like offline, not now. Okay. Okay. All right. So what else do what else can I help you with in terms the of etiquette. what etiquette? You just stop for zero three two. Huh? Because I wanna put your um I wanna put your your website on the speaker. Oh, 032.com. Yeah, so you can see there, guys. Oh, diba? So imagine if you have like created banners first and then you just like click more. Like, not, like I can't do that on my own. I need to really focus as a presenter. I need someone else to do that. Or I don't know. I have no idea. That was what yeah, I was thinking. I, I, don't even, I don't even bother with that. Like, I didn't even know you could do that. That is an opportunity. That's a call to action. Um, I know, but like, 
you get what I'm saying? Like me, I, I try to focus on the actual interview and the actual talking to another person. And then it's hard enough to connect to another person through the screen. Merg, I, I think my goal as an interviewer is to try to connect to another person. No? And, it's difficult uh, to connect. How do you connect? How do you connect with someone when you know there are people listening and watching? Let's well, be yeah. honest. That's the that's the prob that's the other problem with this medium is that it's hard that I have difficulty finding kanang connection and you have to work harder at it. So like when you're doing the podcast with another person, like if they are in real life, like right in front of you, I find that it's a lot easier to connect because you're you're communicating with your body language. They're looking at you, they can see, and then you can also look at their body language. You can take a better sense of how they are feeling and then i've talked to a lot of people who are just like really shy and just really shy and it's 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 a it's a lot of work in a way to get them to open up and sometimes it happens at the minute 30 or at the hour mark you know uh and then on on a, on a screen it's harder yeah it's hard it is harder I mean, no, it's not really harder when you just know it's just you and the guest. Or it's you and the business meeting. But mm -hmm. if it's you, the business meeting, and another entity watching, that just creeps me out. Like, it's like supernatural. I try not to think about it. Actually, like what I find, so like you're using StreamYard right now. So the yeah. on the upper left, you can see like how many people are watching. I actually wish I could turn that off. Like But that's needed, I, man. No, but I'd rather not know. No? Kanang, yeah. I'd I think you needed know. you needed someone to do it good. If you if you just want to focus on your interview. I think you need someone else to man the whole broadcast, which is the tickers, can you how to hide it, you know how to show um, yeah. stupid commenter like Ben Screws and hide it. That's another because that's another Bro, <laughs> is it an example. Do you really need a person or is that just an excuse so you don't get started? It's both. Oh, it's an excuse and it's a really good um, opportunity to make your show better for me yeah. after because yeah no, but like that would be great like uh let's say joe rogan joe rogan has jamie you know who's there in the background uh loading up stuff fact checking he's being the third person if he's you needed need right? but the reality is that right yeah like how many people can can afford to just hire a person who just sits down while you while you talk to another person. You know what and I'm I, gonna do? I'm gonna train my boyfriend to do this. Again. He's gonna be my slave. Again. Uh Loi kay na ang mga men usahay. Nga no man. They just Sexist do this. Also, sexism ni sing ano loi man ang mga men. Women. You know. Nga no man. Just sit back in a couch for five minutes, and in the sixth minute, somebody there's like a radar that pops up, and then and then you just realize, oh, hey, he's not doing anything. Oh, let's give him <laughs> something to do. Wait, hang on. is that what you? Is that what's happening in your household right now? Nah, it's just a joke. It's well, it's a, not it's, a joke. It's actually true. It, it's yeah, like it's it's a joke because it's true. You know, it's, it's half true, and you're just trying to, but I guess it's because you have to understand the women's viewpoint, which is multitasking. Like, yeah, like the, the toddler is like just really wants to be with the, the mom. You get me? Like, clingy can a silani, most especially the ones who are breastfeeding. You get me? And they just cling like a monkey, but they just cling on it, and and and. We don't get to have a say where we just want five minutes because we'll. I, what I read about these mommy blogs, they say they feel guilty when they start thinking that way. You know, 
So I guess it's um, empathy na lang yun siguro, but I don't, I can't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm not married. I don't have a kid yet. My boyfriend is a slave. So <laughs> well, as a mistress, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> not a mistress, like the third party, like a mistress, but like, hail mistress. What can we do for you, mistress? Yeah, but, but, um, but like, you've got like, two kids, so that means you're pretty much experienced already, right? Experienced in what? In 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 people wanting your time. Uh, like it's not something new anymore. Yeah, because you've got two kids. I guess. I think I'm a. Uh, I think today I'm just like tired. You know, it just you yeah. just got to get the. Uh, at the day where this is on my mind, and I. But you're doing a great job. Uh, Did anyone know. tell you that you're doing a great job as a dad? Uh not recently. Thank you so much. In your uh, 46 minutes of. Uh, Are you judging me? <laughs> but that's true. I mean, I've, 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 my real. This is me saying as a daughter. I mean, like me and my dad never had a close relationship, but me as a daughter, now that I'm an adult, I can empathize like, ah, so maude ni ilahang feeling, no? Kana ding maglingkod lingkod sila sa couch. They actually just want time for themselves. And uh, I also understand most, especially you're working, let's say the, the ones who are working like a nine to five nga schedule ba, right? Like mm. Mondays to Saturdays and you only have Sundays. To, to relax and then your kids just you know it's the only day that I get to see daddy so let's steal his time and make him miserable yeah why why were you never close with your dad what, <laughs> what was that I don't know I just literally froze what else? Some, some, how, we're not going to ready any question. That they, they, see, I hate, this is what I also hate about live broad stream thing because you're. I, I, I apologize. Yeah. Like, I'm no, no, uh, it's like, it's not, no, no, this is actually like etiquette. Like, what if you're me as a host, which is I'm supposed to be in control? What if they ask me difficult questions? So, because I can do away with recording. Not yeah, so, because I, not because I can edit it out because. They cannot see the facial the facial expression. Mm. No, so like, uh, so what happens when I so what happens when I interview people is that uh, you can ask them a question and then they'll give an answer and then there's something in that answer that that uh, you know seems more interesting and yeah and. Uh, then I try to zone in on that thing. And then usually if they share it, man good, usually they're willing to talk about it. Like mm-hmm. and they just mention it. No? So kind of like what you did, like you mentioned it in passing. And Not obviously- necessarily we want I want to mention it. Um the th- well, katong I, well, it's not true to all, but katoka, I'm trying to empathize because you were really I I can that's the thing, the facial expression. I took it like you were actually really tired and you don't want to be, you don't want to sound like a bad dad. And and I'm trying to, because I'm not a man, I'm not a dad, and I'm trying to empathize how would you feel in a different perspective, which is the daughter. But I can't mm-hmm. say like, I'm not close to my dad somewhere. The only way I could empathize is to see my dad as a human being. Mm-hmm. As a person in Cebu, you know, working, like trying to, Get on with a nine to five job and more like though the 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 case the the situation that I gave you like you work six days nine to five and let's say carpintero ka and you only have Sunday to yourself and then sa perspective said a daughter or kid ah yeah this is the only day that I can see my dad and then we never thought nga, we're actually stealing his time you get me so there I think. I think it's a really complex um, situation, but I guess by the end of the day, if you guys like love each other, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, I think this whole lockdown for me is just like I, I'm I'm frustrated that you can't I can't just go outside you know, that whole. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I speaking like, of you know, being frustrated, you have a you have a YouTube vlog that you talk yeah. about your biking. Yeah. And you kind of like share your frustrations. As a dad or as a biker or as a Cebuano citizen who's currently on lockdown at the moment? Uh, I wouldn't say I share my frustrations on the YouTube channel. I'll, I'll like, like I had a video recently about bike lanes just because I think that's something that I would like to see in our city. Um, yeah. That's another thing, Bia. Like, so you were talking about video, right? And we were talking about video and, and YouTube. And then, so I started a YouTube channel. And then if you asked me before the lockdown, if I wanted to do video, and I've said it like to so many people, nga, yeah, I don't really want to do video. It's too much trouble. I don't want to be in front of the, the camera. But when this whole lockdown happened, uh, with the podcast, I had no choice. I wanted to keep doing the podcast. And then this is the only way to do it. And, yeah. and then also with the lockdown, I just had a lot of free time all of a sudden. The thing that I was working on prior to the lockdown is just impossible to work on uh, because of the lockdown. So I, I couldn't put time into that. So I had this whole free free time all of a sudden and decided to just try something new. And then the kind of so like working with video, I I did not want to do it prior, but if there's no there's nothing else to do, there's something else I wanted to learn or something that I wanted to try. Then kind of just in a way, all of my preconceptions or or doubts about the medium, about being in front of the camera, I'm like, I just set it aside and then in a way just not care about it. Na lang niya. Bahala na. Yeah. No. Just deal with it. Just do. Yeah. But how are you feeling? Like, you know, you've been asking people on your podcast show how they're feeling. How with, you even asked me how I'm coping with the, the, the what do you call that the situation right now and I guess I think it's time for me to ask you like how are you really doing emotionally physically and, and it's pretty much like can be controlled but emotionally how are you coping up uh, I'm okay. I'm tired, <laughs> you know. Like how tired? Like when someone get tired, like you're tired with the situation, like the leadership or the community, or just tired because it's I'm, not. Uh, you know, tired. so right now, if you just go to Facebook and then you go to your feed, and it's all uh, really negative in a way. It seems like. Uh, it seems like a lot of the things that are happening right now are not if if I had a choice, these things would not be happening, no? Uh yeah. with the situation with the government. Now you can look at you can look at anything. You can look at like this whole ABS CBN thing, the Mariaresa thing, the protests that happened in UP where you know they just caught these kids. These kids, just kids. And then even that one guy who just took a video, they caught him too. Uh and then of course the how how the pandemic is being um, handled handled in a sense <laughs> in a sense nga Murag, you know uh, apparently there was no mass testing going on since forever and yet finally now which is like how many months later and we have and then Cebu happens to be the longest lockdown in the world there's a lot of things to be digested frustrated about um, so how did you how did you cope up with all these so you're talking about the social media space being the source of information um so you're 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 tired of it the social media information yeah um i think the way i've been coping is just you know hanging out with my friends honestly like uh the, the one of the good things that I've been doing because one of the good things because of this lockdown was every now and then I will have a Zoom call with my friends and my really close friends, none of them are in Cebu. No. So it's actually been a long time since I hung out with them. And 
And uh, so now we get to do it on a semi-regular basis, once, twice a month, and then just go on a Zoom call and then really just talk nonsense, you know, and just literally hang out for an hour or two. And that's been really helpful in a way, no? That's how I think I've been able to, and, you know, just try to stay off social media. So I'll watch Netflix. Yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll work on my YouTube channel. Just so you do your own stuff just to. Yeah. Um, me, I did volunteer yeah. work. Oh, really? Where? Of Well, the first. In a span of six months, I did two volunteer works. Yeah. The first one was helping out the stranded frontliners, but it was, you know, it was at home. All I did was coordination, getting survey. And then I get to, because that's the only, okay, me personally, I'm the type of person who feels helpless when I don't know anything. So the only way to know something is to immerse yourself. So when someone asked help from me to help them out because they're frontliners, you know, and all, so I did a coordination. It was pretty a good coordination because someone was really willing to help out through um, an app. Kawakan an app no where you see where all the where all the um, the cars are at, they're willing to do that with the free um, vehicles. Who is but this? At some point, well, this was around February, March. So good for you. Before so panag lockdown. Uh, so we didn't uh, look, Sikad nag katong nag community quarantine. Yeah, I did so, like a like a stranded frontliner thing initiative actually, and. Yeah, um, I did. I get to experience firsthand at the opportunities that could that could be changed on that. And I was, you know, I was talking to someone uh, in from Cebu City Hall, from BSMMC. I was speaking with these chief of hospitals and try to get their insights and try to coordinate. But at some point, I that then back then I realized good and nothing is gonna happen if the government will not, you know, step up. Okay, magsalig bantanan sa government. Imagine you wanna you wanna help out, but you don't have a you don't have a business permit or you don't have a like a pass. So what again, ma ma cock block good. And yung second na ko ang volunteer work was someone was asking me to be a consultant for for the media of uh i'm not gonna say it in the lamp we're gonna media for um for a government entity entity yeah mm. for a government entity um not necessarily for covid19 but you know how they could i could how they could close the gap between blue indonesia between the civilians and the because there's this big gap of communication and we're trying to figure out how we fill in that gap. So mm -hmm. I try to help them out. I'm still helping them out every now and then. But more like in a lockdown. How people perceive the COVID-19 issue. You know, like the, the word asymptomatic, symptomatic. Is it grave? So that's what I've been coping up. Um, Volunteer, volunteer work, and Actually, working. So, uh, you, you, the what I was thinking about when you were talking was, you, know, you actually have an opportunity in a way to, you know, use your platform in a sense. I wanted to. I really yeah. wanted to. That's why I was so pissed off with the anti bear, uh, the terror bill, the anti terrorism bill. Yeah, I forgot. I was about very that. vocal about that. The moment, and and, and to be honest, um. Because I remember, I don't remember the, the the month and the date, but I remember the day. Uh, it was a Saturday. It was very noisy. That that issue was really noisy on Twitter and Instagram. And it wasn't when I went to my Facebook news feed and I have like over a thousand contacts and and groups and pages. They're not talking about it. So I was a little bit pissed off. Like, why aren't people talking about the anti-terrorism bill? Because no one has 
been sharing it. So I shared it. And then, mo na murag, because katong mga volunteer work na ko, it was a big opportunity for me to show, you know, firsthand how it is. But I'm also, as a producer and as a marketer, I'm also very afraid. Uh, I'm media. You know, it can be used against me, no matter what. Yeah, you have that's to be what... careful. I, we, we have to be careful, good Carl, most especially when you're touching um, hard news like that. You know, like, um, listen, good. Yeah, listen. well, that's why I actually tend to uh stay away from that because i just don't yeah. know enough, no but it, it's come to the point where you know it seems like it seems like i, I feel like it, it just so happens that i'm not the person who's good to do it so what what i ended up doing for example when this whole lockdown hit was i just started talking to people and asking them how Your insights works. Yeah, like how it would affect them. So, for example, um, I talked I talked to the owner from Bubble Tea Station, Simeon, and you know she just talked about how it how it could affect business and what to expect during business. And the thing that I got out of it, for example, in terms of business, was I think this year you just got to think about surviving. No, so that's one. Uh, I talked to my cousin, who's you know just a smart person. Uh, and and what did you get, no, no, not him. I. Uh, I actually don't know him that well. <laughs> I talked to another cousin, and so, I, <laughs> so it was supposed to be like a fun podcast where we just talk about like worst case scenarios, and it became really clear. Oh, the worst case scenario is kind of possible, and became kind of depressing. And yeah, my cousin's in the food business, and he was saying, "I'm like, okay, with all of these lockdowns and and." and quarantine so eventually and then what's going to happen in the future and then you're, we're seeing it now is that people are going to lose so many jobs and how are these people going to feed themselves and then the worst case scenario is people will just be hungry and there's going to be riots stealing uh that's the worst case hasn't happened yet but you can see that you know people have lost their jobs income is really low like all of these people who work in the restaurant industry all of a sudden have zero jobs. I saw something like 7 million people have no jobs right now no, um, in the Philippines. So I ended up talking about those things. Now, if I were more interested in politics or, or you know, government in general, I probably would have ended up talking about that. It, yeah. it, I think like if, if you have an interest in that, if somebody's listening, they have an interest in that. It this is one way to kind of get a nuanced uh, word out about it to like really just talk because like lahe ma good when people just type it on their screens, and then just it comes down as a wall of text, and sometimes you don't get a nuanced look about it, and then that's what I like about podcasts is because you can have a real conversation with another person. Yeah. About, no. In fact, I want to try, I kind of want to talk to somebody who knows a lot more about it than I do, no? And then just get... Charge the a Be careful what you wish for, because I'm going to give you one. <laughs> Amo ba? Somebody... Be uh, careful what you wish for. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, as much as I read it, daghan ko ganan ichika, Carl, pero... You don't, I don't want to talk to a person who has an agenda. Sometimes people just have an agenda. No, no, these guys are actually not having an agenda. Um, I feel well again, there are there are types of people. There are types of people who tend to like forecast. Kind of mm -hmm. forecast things ahead. Katong the, the your cousin, I think he's a his personality is more like a forecasting what can be done, but it's on the food business. You I think you should really look for someone who's on the ground, foot soldiers. No, Not the to... soldier, soldier army. But can someone who's like, uh, you know, doing food delivery? How does it feel? Or someone like an, from the music industry and decided to do food, um, grab food, and you know, like can I? It's like it's, there's so many people, types of people. Pero mo lagi na dili ang upper class. Kailangan yun working class and para makita gini mo banga. It's it's different, good when you say it like that 
versus to the people who actually are doing it. Um, they have a exactly. they have a different they have a different um, they have a different perspective. Most especially when they're the timeline in their head is only twenty four hours. Yeah, more refresh na po. Do do you know that perspective? Some people think two days ahead. Some people think six months ahead. So ilang head six months ginak mong timeline. Tayo bang tao ng ilahara yung timeline is 12 hours to 24 hours more on survival they just do what they can for the day to survive unya refresh na pod unsa na sad ako mabuhat ikasunod nga adlaw which is what most people on the ground now, right on the ground okay they they can't see the bigger picture they only see when how to feed themselves or to feed their families um it's really sad to be honest mo na mo ko i really wanted to tackle Pod, sa akong podcast, through my podcast, I was really thinking, yun nga, can I tackle the politics? Can I tackle all these shit? Pero mo, like, you know, what if, like, um, mainitan lang kagamay? My brain, no, I can't afford that yet at the moment. Um, I have a lot of things to say about the UP incident. Um, it's, I had, a, yeah, but I can't say it right now, okay? But sigma use ni against us. Most especially law ng anti-terrorism bill right now, right? It is a law already. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I cannot tell you how to live, so, <laughs> you know. No, you can live your life. You just really have to adapt, I guess. Um, take it one day at a time. Uh, for people like you who seem are very affected by social media, well, um, and me, I can't get off social media because that's part of my livelihood. No, I, I I manage Facebook pages for clients. You can unfollow the pages, you know, or you can snooze them for 30 days. There is a... Oh, I, is a, I, I unfollow people. Like yeah, on a right unfollow, page. snooze them. Even pages, you can like unfollow them and not see in your... And then at um, some point, one of the algorithms of Facebook, kay, let's say, friend ko ni mo, and if I, you know, I have engagement on a public post makita na si imuhang page so what i do is i i join these really stupid groups like uh, a group where we pretend we're uh, we're ants kana ba okay. or a, a group where we pretend we're frogs kana kay nindot man kay ang group nga ang group nga algorithm sa facebook kasagaran mo gani una mo gawas i know this is so if you join these groups, and I also join like the, the the things that I'm passionate about, um, marine biology and stuff, like all these things, like I really just join groups that matter to me, and unfollowed and snooze these new Facebook pages. Para na control, um, I I take it like a one week, uh, once a week rather um, habit. Na I just. General, I just use generalized whatever, but like just be okay, I guess. Yeah, no, no, but I think it uh it it with with me, I think it's less like social media. It's more in a uh, you know, this is happening in the world. Like this is happening in the Philippines. And uh more and more I don't want to ignore it. No. And and there, there are just certain topics that I don't know enough to have a, a real opinion on it. No, I, I, I try to avoid having like an opinion on something that I don't know about. So, for example, let's say that terror bill, for example, um, I've just haven't read it. I don't know enough about it. No, uh, I've I know people's opinion of it, but I can't I can't give like a I can't give an opinion of something that I don't know about, ba? no. So, but but more and more these things are happening, and I just I just don't want to ignore it anymore, no. And then that's the problem. So you see it, and then you know it's happening, and what you can know, we do about something about it? Yeah, like th- that's the thing. Like, what can we do? And then I what I've just been doing is I've just been picking this. Uh, the battles, not really battles, but like the things that are really that I that I've been thinking about the longest, and then that's like kind of mobility here in Cebu, transportation, 
uh, bike lanes, that's th- that sort of thing. That's what I've been most interested in since the beginning. But of course, so selected lang. Yeah, so I'll ch- I'll I'll talk about stuff that that I know about and that are specific. No. Through your podcast, we're talking about your podcast, right? Uh, well, through the well, the the Which through the podcast. Right? Through the podcast, uh, well, the bicycle stuff, obviously, through the YouTube channel because that's all about bicycles. Um, but yeah, through the podcast. So the, the podcast, what I try to do is I try to get people who know their stuff, who are not just having an opinion Experts. of something. Yeah, like they're going to talk about their realm of expertise. So like going back to Mayan, I can talk about entrepreneurship and business and restaurants because she runs a lot of Who's Mayan? Bubble uh, tea? Station. So, you know, I think she had like, I, I forgot how many how many branches, like 50 or something. And then, yeah, yeah. Bubble tea is franchise. No, it's not. It's all her. It's not. Yeah, how good not? Wow. So, dako kay shag, dako kay na shag, like effect, you know, the, the pandemic has a huge effect on her business, for example. Kanang mayana ba? So, I try to talk to people with a certain expertise and I try to revolve the conversation around that expertise. Like I don't want them to start talking out of their ass. It sounds like a fact, but really it's an opinion. So yeah, that's just something I've been thinking about. I don't know how you want to do podcast historias. My good guy. Um, podcast historias has always been. I really try to be loyal to my brand, which is music, arts, the sciences, and sex education and health. Um, but sometimes, because of my emotions, I wanted to use the platform for, you know, for the politics stuff. But I'm more like, it's a good thing that I'm old enough now to really remind myself now should be true to your brand at the same time you can help in a different way so if i wanted to if okay, if, if there is something that i'm annoyed about which is let's say the anti-terror law the anti-terrorism law so i base it some brands of podcast historias so now i'm with the sciences so let's talk about political science what is this about like, what is anti-terrorism bill or the arts for journalism, um, how does journalism get affected for anti-terrorism bill? So, like you, I think kitang duha zero three to preparehas ta brand. Like you talk to experts, you talk to professionals too, but in a one lang a more or less very like Talking music up. to people's ears. Okay, the way I designed my show, it was it. it sounds like a radio show but we talked about this but yeah yeah so yeah that's my plan for all again how am i able to invite them that's why i'm i invited you to this live streaming one hour and 13 minutes to tell me you know it's not that bad to use this platform and of course like how is my fellow podcaster doing oh yeah it's yeah, I still release it as a podcast. It still comes out as a podcast. So you use the audio for the video. Yeah, podcast. I use the... So now lang, now there's just more um, avenues for it. So all of a sudden, I have Facebook Live. I'll, I'll post a YouTube video yeah. with full video. And then I'll also release a podcast. So in a way, it gets a lot more... Uh, it The reach is a lot more than it was prior. No. Yeah, how was it? I know, I know. We're not gonna talk about the data, kalahit naman na. But yeah, that, that's it. It's actually like um, like a good. But I was like thinking, like, hey, like, how oh, well, how am I gonna do it? Because for podcast historias, kind of I chop it off. Our whole conversation, I chop it off, depending on the yeah. topic that we've talked about. Let's say Karon nag talked for fifteen minutes about anti-terrorism bill, so that's gonna be one episode. So it's going to be a multi-part series. That's for a podcast historia. So it'll be additional more work for me. Audio-wise. Um, 
yeah, it's a lot of the way you do it, Fek, is really a lot of work. <laughs> no, um, but but it could, makes me happy. Yeah, after. yeah. So you could, in theory, for example, get the audio from this conversation and then cut it up exactly how you want, uh, produce it exactly how you want, and then release it again as a podcast. Uh, you could do that, no? Me, Murag, uh, because that's what you value. You value the final product, diba? Right? So, like, you wanted it to sound like a certain way. With me, I value, like, kind of ease of, the ease of actually doing this. The, the easiest I'm way possible. I'm just going to say it in a pull line. Easy, smart. Oh, yeah, so you, can, so you can do a lot of other things. So, so with me... Yeah, you're so, done. Yeah, so like, so, but what I'm saying is like, so since I value like the ease, no, um, so in a way, the side effect is also, I actually got to reach a lot more people than I would normally do. Like, I'm surprised by Facebook Live in terms of reach. Yeah, I feel like, um, usually for Filipinos, you know, audience, Facebook, man, yeah, okay. Facebook. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I do notice that. Like it's not because pre previously in a podcast it, you get a lot more people who will listen from beginning to end if they listen to a, in a podcast like they download which it. which which audience are you talking about the United States audience uh, can you am I back yes okay. So, my audience, in um, you can get like uh, data from Spotify, and I, I haven't checked in a while. Not we're like it was like fifty percent of the people who listen to the podcast listen from beginning to end. That's huge, no? And but but like Facebook Live, you'll get like bored majority. In the house, I'm in a house board. Bored in a house, I'm in a house board. Bored in a house. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I think Carlo is trying to 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 share his hi. You're back. Are Hello. you trying to share um your a screen? No, no, I'm not doing anything. It's just the oh. internet. Yeah. Okay. No, but like I don't know where did I cut off. You were trying to show me something. I wasn't showing you anything. No, I, no, like I um, asked about US. I asked about the US. You said something from the start to end, and I asked you ah, what okay, audience you okay. are so, from. So, like, my audience, I was able to check on Spotify. I haven't looked in a while, but uh, my audience on Spotify, you'll get, like, 50% or something who listens from the beginning to end. No, And then that's, that's a big number. Like, generally speaking, the people who listen to podcasts really listen from beginning to end, No. But if you look at Facebook Live, if you look at the percentages, you know, most people they see it and then they're 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 done after like three seconds. So your reach is a lot more, but your actual uh absorption of the content from Facebook Live from the people watching is yeah. not as much, no. So kind of that's what because, I realized after Facebook, doing these things. The Facebook platform is has evolved. Okay, market marketing is like a biology ecology. Anyway, um, the Facebook platform has evolved and has been designed for short attention span, my mm. thirty second videos, my ten. So that the Facebook Live was nice when it comes to real time, pero for something uh, kanang yani ba mga business meeting, talking kanang yani nga style. Abi na sa Filipino audience kadi sila anadani. Oh, you know, one to first three seconds, first sixty seconds. Yeah, but that being said, there will be certain topics or episodes that gets to hold on to a bigger audience. Uh, no, so like uh, I had a friend, for example, who got the virus and then he survived. So I ended up talking to him about it. What is and, his blood type? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, they they but, could actually like donate their blood for. Yeah, but when I spoke to him, apparently he didn't have he when he got the test again, he didn't have the antibodies for whatever reason. No? So apparently you don't always get the antibodies or it didn't show yet when he took the test. I don't know. Anyway. 
Oh yeah, siguro. Or na man juke antibodies, and that's that's practically the the most default thing. If something comes in your body, uh, your immune system tends to create a defense mechanism for it. Um, for mo, like, it really depends on the type of virus. For not sure antibodies, so hindi lang siguro, wala lang siguro ni appear pa ato, or na pa yung virus. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, that's what he said when he took the test. So we ended up talking for about an hour about his experience, and you know, people were interested. And kana, uh, but it really depends on the topic and the person, of course. If I guess if you're talking to a celebrity yeah. or something, then you get to you have a lot more people, you know. Um, yeah, but uh, Mona, in terms of like reach, more I found that the this whole Facebook Live, along with the YouTube, along with the actual podcast itself. Reaches a lot more people. No. Yeah, I don't know how okay? I, I, got, I got thrown off by all the disconnections. <laughs> um, for podcast historias, I paused my publishing mm. on January. I, I know. Oh. Um, I have, and I just didn't feel. It didn't feel right. I'm post about music, whatever, when, you know, this is happening in real time. Um, but then I'm deciding to re uh, resume on Monday with the rest of oh. the episode. And the reason why I have asked you to teach me, you know, the usual etiquette, how it does with live streaming, because I'm planning to interview the ones that I have interviewed. So may tabo kay mag live broadcast ni Kunya, among introduce ang episode. Let's say Mandawi Nights. So, uh, okay. For example, like that's that's that was my plan. For more, like, it really depends on the people if they're really comfortable doing the live stream. Okay, I'm gonna you know, like to... music, right? Huh? Or the the house, so okay. the... Hi. Am I back? Yes, I'm back too. Yeah, this is the problem with the medium. So, um. But you know, like music is one of the most grabbing uh, industries affected by this whole lockdown, no? Like all of a sudden, these musicians have no gigs and a certain except result, for Mark uh, Revolution. I think it really depends on what you're banking on. If you're a musician and you're banking on live shows, then of course you're going to be affected, right? But for musicians like Mark Rebelay, who bank on streaming. And he's one of the, you know, Mark Rebele. No. You should. You should. Mark Rebele. He's a he's a musician and he does streaming. So he streams his his performances and it somehow sold out the mga stuff. For yeah, like it really. I yes, the music industry. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the music they're um, the ones who bank on live, the real, you know, the the live performance. Margin affected, pero Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I don't know if it's my internet or your internet. I it's think it's internet. I think it's my internet. Oh. Yeah. Can this you see me the, now? Yes. Okay, so you good. Um yeah. yeah, going back, a lot of industries have been Pero ni cope up mong good ta good kay adaptable mong gikay kita, diba? Like uh let's say the restaurants are closed, some of the restaurants happen to like katong indies, indios nga restaurant mayata na, and they decided to do Cebu online grocery shop. Yeah, no, there'll be people who will cope up, bro. I, I, I don't. You know, that's a lot of restaurants. There's a lot of restaurants who have no choice but to close. No. Kaya wala makangan na permanent close kaya more kila to percentage basta more than fifty. For sure, the gun, the the the, the gun, like anang. It's just people like out like okay. So my parents, they're in the travel industry. They have a travel agency and it's just non-existent right now. Yeah. yeah. And 
they have employees. I think they have like 40, 50 employees and voila. So there's, you know, uh, I have friends who like, I have a friend who, 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 uh, who owns a hotel and he has no choice. He's going to, he's going to probably put it on pause, no? And then just wait out till the vaccine comes back. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot like, uh, like kami, like kami ni Steph, we have like uh, we have like an Airbnb, no? What zero for months, and we still have to pay for the thing, you know? So like people are gonna adapt, but people are there are gonna be people who are gonna be hard hit, who are gonna be hit hard with this whole. So thing. for for that type of businesses, I'm just not talking about your parents and your business, for businesses that rely on you know, yeah, rely on the people. Okay, movement man as a people, right? Kung gistop ang movement sa people, the person, which is your customer. Wow, good. How, what is your forecasting with that? Oh, Usually, I don't have a forecast. In general. Like, do you need to give up? Like, I know see, um, what is called, uh, the king? See, mid, what is it? The, the guy, the racer guy who owns Victoria Hotels or Motels, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, that, that guy, he's a racer. He's a trans woman. Forgot his name. Actually, something King. Ian King. He used, he used okay. to be called Ian King. Um, he, he decided to close a lot of his um, hotels. Ah, that that was, Victoria's Court, that one? Yeah, yeah I saw that. Oh, uh, it's a girl who owns that, apparently. Yeah. No, oh, um, so. Ian Kipa, who transitioned to a woman. I oh, I didn't know name. that. I didn't know that. Okay, uh, anyways, I don't know. He, um, yeah, he, he made a video and decided to, because that's she, the only forecast. She account. made a video because she she's transitioned it. to sorry, a woman. Guys, sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they get in my head, Ian. I forgot her name. Nah, shit. Uh, but yeah, so kind of like there's just, and then of course all the people that work for the for them, not not just the business owners. They're a large enterprise, um, right? Billionaire money you know. that. So Dunkin' Donuts is closing there, but not in the Philippines. Yeah, like so. never mind. <laughs> yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Four hundred and fifty oh. No, but you're gonna expect you know, you're gonna expect like a lot of these things to happen in the in the in the immediate future, like, because even let's say you're not locked down anymore, like in the U.S., they're not locked down, man. But a lot of people in the U.S. are just not going outside. They're just not eating out. They're not, you know, going out of their homes. So a lot of those industries that rely on people to do that, what na? So. I mean, there's going to be adaptations. There's going to be people who will do well because uh, they figure out Extremely something. Extremely well, actually. Or... What? Extremely well. Um, unbalanced kaayo ang profit karon. Let's say Amazon, the billionaire of maayo si Bezos because of the delivery system. Yeah. Zoom, their um, their stocks kay ni taas of maayo this year. So it really yeah. depends on if more like not forecasting, uh, they weren't ready, they didn't have a an action plan more or less. But it can be done, but more like not slowly. But the travel, like slowly, naman ta, di ba? The dom- domestic, um, di ba? That's the news. They're slowly opening our airports. Where? Depends. Depends where. Um, Here in I the think Philippines. Oh yeah. That, International depends on the country, depends on the answer. Pero ang Cebu City lockdown magita niya. Oh, hello, naabete yeah. international pandire. Kuan kay ba the fact ng gi lockdown ang Cebu ng eh, grab. Okay, mo na naglisod si anyway. Um, I yeah. think they're having a hard time balancing out the priorities ba the businesses, the economy versus you know people's health. So. Oh yeah, that's everybody's. That's that's every country's well the country that still have problems with kanang 
with the with the pandemic like the Philippines. That's yeah. that's uh, that's the main issue. Because in a way you also can't stay locked down for too long because you're going to destroy a country. You're going to destroy an economy that way. You know. And then not just never mind the people who own these big businesses because they will be fine. Like, you know, it's the people who all work for them. It's going to be you know, let's say Dunkin' Donuts. How many employees do they have? Uh, in a way, in a way, like you and I, we're kind of lucky that we have like home-based businesses. And like I took a hit for sure. I don't know about you, but like I took a hit also. Oh, yeah. But it's not. Yeah, it, it took a hit, but at the same time, all again unbalanced guy, all of a sudden, um, because my one of my the services that I offer is podcast productions. Kalit lang kadaghan kanang inquiries. And then I can't handle that because I don't have a... I mean, I can't have a team, pero the team that I'm supposed to be working with are are hit hard too. So, correct you should unbalance guy. Like, the, the, no, the balance... So yeah, but- so if you have podcast inquiries, if you have people asking for that service, whatever it is, then you just pay the people. Well, you're the team that you need. Yeah, the inquiries are like coming in, pero in the middle of the assessment, kay na hard hit naman sa the United States, so they kind of like stop. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So like, so, I'm like unbalanced kayo, like the inquiries are so, uh, but then the, the payment is not Working, working. So I need to find. So yeah, like um, everything is hard hit right now. Most especially yeah. our clients, kay puro put business owners. So yeah, so it's it a, depends on the type of business. So like uh, the, here the, the type day. of customers that you have. So if most of my customers are business owners because they want to create another marketing through podcast. Yeah, ilang business can hit man. So what can they pay? And yeah. Sila po, ang ilang customers, kaya puro mga consumers, you know, the taon, whatever. Wow. Well, may movement. Yeah. Pero it depends. essentials, gid ka ron ang grabe, pagkaon. If kaya bawal lang gid ka mo adapt. Oh, like, you need to have a risk management. Yeah, but... Can I at least know what if this happens? So you have a, a, a plan, proposal, like if ang movement sa tao maoni, so we have a delivery system. Uh, through food panda, oh, food panda oh, grab kay. <laughs> Have you seen in Manila kana nagtipok gintanan grab drivers sa Osaka bubble tea station? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. For know, more, you know, unbalanced kay okay. Let's say na anad ka nga ang movement sa tao kay twenty customers ra per hour yun ahimo og eighty customers. How are you gonna handle that type of orders, right? So unbalanced yun. Or MD. But anyway, we can, all I can say is nothing is set on stone. Um, the vaccine is coming. There's actually like news in India, uh, um, human trials na. So one in India, human trials na. Like so good is like human trial. But expect lang yun for vaccine. Now it will take one to two years. That's yeah. what I've been that's what I've been telling my clients. Yeah, it will take one to two years. So imohang timelines in head. Don't think yeah, the next month it's gonna be okay because it's not gonna be okay. You should really like think what you can do in the next twelve to twenty-four months, unfortunately. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh yeah, that's why that's exactly what I've been doing. Like, anang, just thinking in terms of that timeline because it doesn't seem like this is going to. This is not gonna get. This is never. This is not gonna go anywhere. Na pagina difficult pagina Carl kay. Let's say na a vaccine, right? But are you gonna be front? Are you gonna be on the front line? What do you mean? Na ng vaccine, gonna... right? Yeah. Sure ka nga mabot ng vaccine si mo family dili ko ba na. Politiko gini una. Remember katong nagtest test pa sa vaccine ang mga politicians giuna. So, yeah. more na, give it another uh, 6 months, 7 months. Yeah. At, honestly, I'm not too remember when that happened and yeah, it was the politicians who got the 
the the tests first. Mm-hmm. I was not opposed to that. Like for me, it makes sense. If you have the if you, technically speaking, ba, no, if you take away all of our previous past feelings of the government and everything, if you have a company and then you, there's a limited number of tests, and then you want to make and then you have these people who are in charge of the company or country, who is the who 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 is what does who is the people that makes the most sense to be tested first? The people who make all the decisions. Do, I think do the, for- the problem there, Carl, was not the people being tested. It's how it was done. So the, there were posts from first-hand experience people. Sila ginanag-test sa laboratory. The blind bangud. They were providing these blood samples now, okay, allegedly, and yeah, gibutang lang, dili gani, transparent, gibutingon lang a priority, they didn't even say whose blood was it, something, whatever. And they, the, the people working in that laboratory felt a little bit betrayed. Because, diretso mamura, kanang, kuan kaya mamura, under the table, gani kig that thing. If it was an actual project, let's say this, Laboratory is made for all the leaders, whatever. Kana siguro transparent. Makasabot ko pero ano? Kalit kalit lang ug. Ah, arguable. Okay. Also, let's say you get tested. And yeah, let's no. Shouldn't it? Ano ang issue ato nga time kay? Most nga na tested was asymptomatic. So and then there were only limited number of kits. So the 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 experts say it was a waste of kits, but anyway, whatever. So that's all I'm, all I'm saying. Even the vaccine comes in, it will still be a question of, you know. Yeah, but you're going to get it. Like, you're going yeah, to get it. Take it. Time. I'm talking about, let's say, one to two years vaccine and another seven months to nine months for you to get it. And that's, like, that's the world we live in. That's the that's the reality right now. That's like, like, never mind who you are. There's eight billion people in the world. How long is it gonna take to, deba? Right? If you think about it, it's a miracle if we get a vaccine to eight billion people in a year. Wasn't that a miracle? <laughs> I mean, that's the world we live in. Is the Spanish flu have a vaccine? I don't know. I don't know what the Spanish is. Because the story man ato ni die down and evolve man ang virus to be mild. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't get a vaccine for that. Maybe. I think they like, did. Pero ang bot. Mas bermo lagi na. That's the problem sa ako science na area. Coronavirus is a. Pero na possibility mo evolve yun. No, there's a, a possibility. Milder, milder. There's pero, yeah maybe. That means the need for the vaccine isn't as for Mulligan. Anyway, but there's, I, a I'm not next that, there's a possibility that you never get a vaccine. HIV. There's no vaccine for HIV. There's treatment. Which is, by the way, not in a cure. So you came in yet. Well, first time. Ah, for HIV? Yeah, for HIV. There are good news, man. There, there are there are actually a lot of good news. But more like the sa mga bad ones, but yeah. Say, Carl, thank you, Kayo, for for this really long interview. Yeah, Nani I'm just na- waiting. I'm just waiting for like lunchtime, and then I'm just gonna have to bounce <laughs> when it's lunch. Thank <laughs> you funny. again. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, to the, to the one viewer or anyone who's gonna view this, which I bet wala o na nagiagis. Ito yung sa nako kay wem kay mo tanaw. But yeah, listen to uh, to 032 Conversations. 032 Conversations, right? Yes. Listen to 032 Conversations at 032.com or you can actually find them on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. For Podcast Historias, we'll be resuming on Monday with new episodes, newer episodes. Um, Three-Legged Men coming up next and Sepia Time. So it's going to be really fun. Thank you. And uh, for the live broadcast, yes, I will be having live broadcast. And uh, I really hope I'll have Carlo Villarica as a proper guest in a studio, like how podcast is doing. Sure. 
Yeah, three years, three, four years. What do you think? I lose weight, na Carl. And I'll be like, puti na ko, na napugos na ko kaputi, kaya I'm just at home. <laughs> Where's your vitamin D at? Carl, na wawa na sad ko, I cannot be myself with you. I don't know. I feel na ko, again, like I said, sa akong guesting sa imuhang show, purag high ticket, ticket to hell ba? Like, if I'm magbinuhang ko ni mo kay, diretso na ka sa hell. Okay, buutan ka. Anyway, that's it. Anything okay. you want to say? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Are you sure? Do our conversation. Wow, see, ito na ora good. It's very polite. It's not two hour conversation is never well, it can be good. Thanks so much. Your 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 son is really cute. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh how do I do this? You can and wave at the camera and say bye. Bye. And I just click click on end broadcast. Uh yes, I think so. I don't see it, but you have to do that. Okay, so good. Thank you. Bye guys.